it was the greatest and the sweetest cake. The Farsi accent. Many people refer to it as the Persian accent. Farsi is actually the official language of someone from Iran. You could very well meet someone from Afghanistan who speaks Farsi. Now, don't get it confused with the Arabic accent. When you're speaking with an Arabic accent, the resonance is in the back. The Farsi resonance is forward. And we all know the standard American English accent is right in the middle. Now, some other things you need to be aware of with the resonance. Perse, delips, and tighten them. Uh, be conscious that the resonance is in the front of the mouth. He's right. And here's something. In America, when we're pausing, a lot of times we'll make this sound. Uh, but with a Farsi accent, that's going to be replaced with kind of a... a I want to emphasize the importance of really following the rules of resonance for this Farsi accent. Get used to it so it's second nature. Otherwise, you might end up sounding Arabic or West African. Like those languages, you're going to emphasize every syllable. Like historically and basically are going to be historically, basically. The short I sound becomes the E sound. And when you say it, keep it literal in your pronunciation. We kind of get lazy in America. Like, I literally saw the capital. But with a Farsi accent, it's I literally saw the capital. Let's practice some emphasizing. Provision. Really emphasize that O in provision. Provision. The est sound. In America, we often transform it to an ist sound. Greatest. Sweetest. In Farsi, it becomes It was the greatest and the sweetest cake. With words ending in shun, like construction, an invitation, really stress the I making it an E sound at the end. For example, invitation, construction. There's not a lot of pitch change with a Farsi accent, but if you do change the pitch, go all the way. Change the pitch in the whole sentence. For instance, I believe in you. I believe in you. If you want to stress words, you can do it without changing the pitch. Just elongate the words. Say, elongating. And also, avoid the upward pitch at the end of words. It is awfully dreadful in the winter months. It is awfully dreadful in the winter months. This next one's great. Often when someone's speaking with a Farsi accent in standard American English, they're going to add sounds and words. Clusters. Say, clusters. There are clusters of clouds in the stratosphere. There are clusters of clouds in the stratosphere. The long A sound gets a short staccato E sound. Like, I chased my neighbor. I chased my neighbor. The short E, like federal or celebrate, gets changed to the A sound. I celebrated the federal holiday. I celebrated the federal holiday. Words that get the lazy oo sound in standard American English get changed to really emphasize that oo when you're speaking with a Farsi accent. The gloomy June moon. The gloomy June moon. Words like booked and cushion also get that oo emphasis. Booklet. Cushion. The aw sound like you get with wrong and lost. Get the short o. Wrong. Lost. The short o gets the rounded o. Rocket and frog. Rocket. Frog. The short u sound that come with words like mother, color, love. Go to the sharp o sound. Me and my mother love to color each other's face. Me and my mother love to color each other on the face. The A sound that comes with words like fabric, 
man, hand, after, get the ah sound. Can you cut the fabric to fit the man's hand? Can you cut the fabric to fit the man's hands? The oi sound's another fun one. Really emphasize that oi. The boys made a lot of noise with their toys. The boys made so much noise with their toys. For the Farsi accent, we get the R tap rather than the full R roll. Let's start with ER words. Switch those to the air sound with a slight roll. Mother Earth becomes Mother Earth. For AR words, keep it simple. Just add that tapped R. Heart, car. You broke my heart. I love my car. And for OR words, have fun with this one. Add an extra vowel. The OR was on the floor by the door. The OR was on the floor by the door. Now let's talk about isolated consonant changes. The T sound, keep it a T. Don't get lazy like we do with the standard American English accent. Like, hey, batter up. Hey, batter up. The TH sound either gets changed to the D sound or the T sound, depending on whether it's voiced or unvoiced. A voiced TH gets the D sound. This, that, other. This, that, other. With repetition, it'll just come naturally. You'll automatically, without thinking about it, replace the TH with either a D or a T. This, that, and the other thing. This, that, and the other thing. The voiceless TH gets replaced with a T. Think, thick, thistle. Think, thick, thistle. That was a thick thistle. That was a thick thistle. The W and the V get the B sound, but it's got a hint of a V in there. For instance, Walter wanted every Chevrolet. Walter wanted every Chevrolet. Words starting with an S will often get the E sound in front of it. The same thing happens with the Spanish accent. Skillfully, special, street. As skillfully, as special, as street. Inserting vowels is especially fun when it's before an R. Frank dreamed of an intriguing tree. Frank dreamed of an intriguing tree. The Z sound becomes the S sound. I got plans. I got plants. Turn V's into F's. I have a stove that I love. I have a stove that I love. With an American English accent, with words like couldn't and wouldn't, we get lazy, we get nasally too. But with a Farsi accent, you don't. Keep that resonance forward and in the mouth and your tongue's heavy. Couldn't, wouldn't. When I think of the Farsi accent, I think of a musically monotone accent. A little bit like this. A little bit like this. That's it for now. You're equipped to take on the Farsi accent. Now go do it. You're uninhibited, you're unafraid, you're bold. Take it to the stage, take it in front of the camera. I love you. I love you too.